In this video, I'm going to show you how to pick up the gusset stitches down the side of your heel for working the gusset of your old shell sock. This is the heel flap and the heel turn, which were both worked backwards and forwards in rows rather than rounds. While working the last row of my heel turn, I've popped a stitch marker into the middle of that row. That's detailed in the pattern. You will be told when to do that. This just shows me where the start of the round is once I've picked up all my stitches for the gusset. Now, there's a line of stitches that you can see down the side of your heel flap. They look like little Vs. These are the stitches that you're going to pick up and knit into to create your gusset stitches. So here we go, we're going to start picking up those stitches now and we're going to knit into the back of them. Can you see that first V where the yarn's coming out of? I don't pick up that one, I go into the next stitch and pick that one up and I'll pick up both bars of that slip stitch and then I'll knit into the back of them. And then I'll pick up both bars of the next, the next slip stitch that looks like a V. And I'll knit into the back of those ones too. You're going to pick up and knit into the back of 18 slip stitches in total. So you just keep working in this way all the way down this side of the heel. I refer to these stitches in the pattern as the stitches going on to needle one. And you just carry on doing that all the way down till you've picked up all the stitches. And you just keep doing that until you've worked most of the way down the side of that heel. Once I've picked up and knitted 17 stitches and I'm ready to pick up my final stitch, I pick up the loop between the first instep stitch and that last heel flap stitch. I pick up that wee bar as well as the V and knit into both of those together. That just helps prevent a hole forming in your knitting. It can be quite tricky doing this, but persevere, you will get there. Now you're ready to work your instep stitches and for the old shell pattern, this is round two of the pattern, so we just purl across all 32 of these stitches. Just now your instep stitches are split over two needles, but while I'm at this stage of working the gusset, I work all my instep stitches onto that one needle. So for the old shell sock, I'm going to purl all 32 stitches onto the one needle and this will be known as needle two. And once you've purled all your instep stitches for your old shell sock, we're now ready to pick up the gusset stitches on the second side of the heel. I'm just going to count down here, make sure I'm getting to that 18th stitch. Make sure I'm picking up the right one. And again, I'm going to pick up, just for this first stitch, I'm going to pick up the slip stitch and the little bar in between the first heel flap stitch and the last instep stitch. This can be quite tricky because there's a yarn over under there, but you do want to pick up that extra bar between the stitches because it helps prevent a hole forming. And then you're going to knit through the back of both of those together. You're knitting into the back of the picked up loop and the slip stitch. Knit through the back of them all together. And then you're going to carry on picking up your slip stitches. Remember to pick up both bars of that slip stitch and knit into the back of both bars together and carry on doing that along the second side of your sock. And this is known as needle three. When you're looking at my pattern, this is needle three. I 
I'm just going to check. I've got all my stitches picked up. And there we go. At this stage, your stitches are all over four needles. You have your 32 stitches for your instep along the top. Your, your gusset stitches are down each side. And this bit at the bottom is the, the remaining stitches from working the heel turn. Now you can carry on working like this with four needles, but what I prefer to do is just work over three needles. So what I'll do is I'll knit the first 10 stitches onto needle three. So I'm working along to that stitch marker. And then the last 10 stitches, the 10 stitches after the stitch marker, I slip onto needle one. And now I'm ready to start working on my gusset decreases. Oh, I'll just I'll untangle this yarn. I've got 28 stitches on needle one and needle three, and I've got 32 instep stitches across needle two. You're going to decrease just before and just after your instep stitches. And you carry on working like that until you only have 16 stitches on both needles one and needle three. Happy knitting.